We have guys. Okay. Ready? Action. Now we're in the parent financial section. The question is coming up for 2019. Have your parents completed their IRS income tax return or another tax return? Options are already completed, will file, not going to file. Pick the one that pertains to you. What type of income tax return did your parents file for 2019? Our options are IRS 1040, foreign tax return, IRS 1040NR, 1040 r easy, or if it was filed, Puerto Rico, U.S. territory, or freely associated state. So let's click 1040. Next question, for 2019, what is your parents' tax filing status according to their tax return? Options are single, head of household, married filed joint return, married filed separate return, qualifying widower, or do not know. And we could refer to the 1040 form to find the answer to this question. Let's go ahead and click head of household. Next, we have the option of utilizing the IRS data retrieval tool. This will allow you to import information from your income tax right into the application. And it says click next to continue. What is your parents adjusted gross income? from 2019. This amount can be found on IRS form 1040 line 8B. So look at your 1040 form, look down for 8B, type in that amount. Do not type a comma, it will automatically type in its own. Do not change the sense that's already in this section here. Once you have your amount, you will click next. And now the application is asking you to separate the income between parent one and parent two. So even though we shared the combined income in the previous question, we now have to divide up how much parent one earned and how much parent two earned. So if only one parent worked, then that parent will write their income. If they both work, then you will type in the amount each worked and type next. You indicated that your parents filed an IRS 1040. Did your parents file a Schedule 1? You will look through your tax documents and find a Schedule 1 and you could put that you have filed a Schedule 1 that you have not, and if you don't know, you have that option as well. Answer the amount of your parents' income tax on 2019, the total amount of the IRS form 1040, line 14 minus schedule two, line two. So you will be looking at your 1040 form and also a schedule two if you have one, and write in that amount. Next questions, combat pay or special combat pay. This should be zero for enlisted person and warrant officers. Type that amount there. Student college grant and scholarship aid reports to the IRS in your parents' income includes AmeriCorps benefits such as awards, living allowances and interest, cural payments, as well as grant scholarship portions or fellowships and assistantship. Type that amount there. Education credits, this is from American Opportunity Tax Credit or Lifetime Learning Tax Credit from IRS Form 1040, Schedule 3, Line 3. You will look at that document and write that amount there. Untaxed portion of IRA, distributions and pensions from IRS form. You will look at your 1040 form, look at A4A. 
plus 4C minus 4B plus 4D. And you will exclude rollovers. If negative, then you will type zero. IRA deductions or payments to self-employed, SEP, simple, KILG, and other qualified plans for IRS Form 1040, Schedule 1, total when you sum up the amount on lines 15 plus 19. You will write that there. Also, tax exempt interest income form, I'm sorry, from IRS Form 1040 line 2A. You will write that amount there and hit next. Did your parents have any of the following items in 2019? Child support your parents paid because of a divorce or separation or result of legal requirement. Do not include support for children in your parents' household. So type that amount there. Again, this is parent information. Earnings from work under cooperative education program offered by a college. Taxable earnings from need-based employment programs such as federal work study and need-based employment portions of fellowship and assistantship. Once you're ready, you click next. And now child support received for all children do not include foster care or adoption payments. Housing, food, and other living allowances paid to members of the military clergy and other including cash payments and cash value of benefits do not include the value of one base military housing or a value of a basic military allowance for housing. Write in that amount there. Payments to tax deferred pension and retirement savings such as paid directly or withheld from earnings including but not limited to amounts reported on the W-2 form in boxes 12A through 12D, codes D, E, F, G, H, and S do not include amount reported in code DD, employer distribution towards employee health benefits. So you will reference your W-2 form, look at those boxes, and type that amount there. Veterans non-educational benefits such as disability death pension or dependency and indemnity compensation and or VA educational work study allowance. You will type that amount there. Also, other untaxed income not reported such as workers compensation disability benefits. We'll move on to next. The next question is asking, do you want to skip questions about your parents' assets? Um, it is recommended to put no. If you say yes, students are often selected for verification for college. So let's click no. As of today, what is your parents' total current balance of cash, savings, and checking amount? You will type the amount that you have after you pay all your monthly bills in this box. As of today, what is the net worth of your parents' investments, including real estate? And this is not your parents' current home that they're residing in. This is only if it's a second property or a third. As of today, what is the net worth of your parents' current businesses and or investments farm? Don't include a family farm or family business with a hundred or fewer full-time or full-time equivalent employees. So let's put an amount there. So we'll put the 2000 and I have zero for real estate value and also for farm and business investments. And we can move on to next. And we are now in the student financials. 